Micro World GX logo. This is a different sh uh, showing here today. This is May 1st, 2014. This is a student work. This is what a seventh grader came up with by programming um, a little challenge for them. And it turns out that we were working on different projects, and he said, I'll make a tic-tac-toe game. So what you see is a tic-tac-toe game, and the thing is, it can be done in various ways. What he did was he made a lot of buttons up here, nine of them, plus a few others down here. Turtle starts here. Clear C, clear the screen. Start, it draws two three by three um, squares and there's a variety of ways to do this so this is just his version you might come up with a different version let's say a student wanted to play somebody and want to put square one click on square one turtle goes there by set the positioning that's the, what the button does fill red down here let's say your red versus blue it fills it it's blue's turn uh, let's say blue goes here, square five. Now you can see that the turtle was red, but we fill it with blue. That's back to red's turn. So let's say fill square four. Oh, it was blue. We've got to fill it with red. Let's say we're going to block them with blue, square seven. Fill blue. Let's see. Red wants to block them, so square three. Fill red. Blue goes to square eight. Doesn't quite see what's going on. And now, there's a couple troubles. One is, first of all, I mean, it looks good and it works if the two players are honest. If you don't, you could go back to square two, click on that, and fill it with blue. No. Oh. How do you prevent it from actually being recolored by the other person, either accidentally or more likely on purpose? And the second tougher problem is, how can Logo figure out who won? Like, how could you program it so that this turtle, the, the computer, would know that this blue one because there's three in a row? Now, keep in mind, you got three in a row either left and right up and down or the two diagonals and you have to constantly check that somehow if you clear it restart again you can tell where the turtles at because there are pre-programmed locations that's a location set pose you can move it wherever you want we know that the trouble is how do you know when three of them in a row are actually in a row and how can you prevent it so that the next person won't change the color once it's set but overall I think it's a pretty good program done by a seventh grader that's like 12 13 years old May 1st 2014